All right, we should be recording right now, hopefully. And yeah, hopefully you can hear my voice. If not, I will have to do a voice overlay. Now this may be shaky. This is my Midland camera, the 720p HD. Uh, does pretty good for me when it's I'm not holding it. But this is a Briggs and Stratton 300 series, 148cc, 4.5. 5 horsepower on a Murray frame. Uh, I did purchase this at Walmart. Got my table set up here. I'm going to do some work. Hopefully sharpen the blade. Um, see if I can get y'all under here right here. Uh, badly rusted, but come figure, you know. I don't take care of stuff like I should. But it's beside the point. Now I kind of hammered that ranch up there. It's a nine sixteenths. Uh, I don't know what that is, three eighths or a half inch boat. But I'm not good on my boats either. But uh, oh yeah, this is a uh, what I say, twenty two inch. No, sorry, right there. If I focus, twenty inch. Probably blur that serial number out. But I'm fixing to get y'all set up, and by the way, hello, Mr. Blue, a.k.a. Tommy Miller, and yes, folks, I am sweating. Pretty much the first, let me fold this back up, pretty much the first full day of sunshine, it's still not quite, and I hope y'all can see that right there, I'm going to put it back right there, hopefully y'all do, if not, I apologize. Now, I done went through and blowed everything off. There's one thing I haven't blowed, and that's my glove. And it's been laying in the shed for over a year. Y'all might ask, why am I blowing my glove out for? Well, folks, I don't want no spiders. And I would have grabbed the wrong one. Oh well. I'm going to use this to help hold the blade. Hopefully I can hold the blade and turn that. Scoot this thing. It's not good on it to be like that, but I got to be able to see what I'm doing. This boy's got a fat bear. hold this blade here now if I had my impact right there I should have thought of it there we go we're turning it hopefully now that ain't nothing slipping now I told y'all there we go but I told y'all I was going to be doing some uh, outside videos. I just didn't quite know what I was going to do. But this got to be done. Oh, there went my bottle of water. This got to be done because uh, she's dull. So she is dull. There's the boat. Oh yeah, right there. I gotta get this back down. It's the only thing is not to hurt the motors, but I just don't want the oil going on top of the pistons or whatever to go on. But to show you all that blade, look how dull she is. Might be an 18 time I get that sharpened. Oh yeah. But that's all there is to it, folks. You just uh, got to find something to block it and 
and hold it while you can get to it. Uh, I'm going to take this boat with me too. It's the third week's all right. I'm just take a wire brush to it. Folks, that's why I'm trying to get this more ready. Look at the alleyway out there. It's been growed up. I'm going to get a couple more days of rain off and on. And you can see out there, that's where old boy got stuck. You, I don't think y'all seen that video yet, but y'all were here pretty soon. But uh, he got stuck right out there in my backyard. His ruts is that way. I just have to catch the video, see the ruts. Now my shed is a mess. I got cans everywhere. I'm trying to process the cans, as you can see. Let's just put these babies back there, right there. I'm gonna put y'all right here. Hopefully, you can see. Yeah, let's see. That's the one I need to sharpen right there. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. We're about right out there, hopefully. I ain't got much to grind with left. I'll have to wait to get some money, get me some more blades. If it ever dries up, I'll have plenty of blades. I'll be scrapping metal. Now this cold, y'all think I'm not safety and stuff. I try to think about safety as much as possible. And I apologize if I just showed y'all my belly. See, I can't thank that for ahead. I was cleaning these glasses off. A little dark, but they do do good around welding and stuff. Let's see. That needs to be straight. And that needs to be beveled. See what I can do here. Now, believe it or not, folks, 
this is the first time I ever sharpen a lawnmower blade. So, if I'm doing it wrong, I'm sorry. It goes out there that knows. Please tell me. I don't know if y'all can see that. It ain't gonna be perfect, but it's definitely a little bit sharper than what it was. I don't feel no burrs. I'm gonna go ahead and do this other side real quick. I'll let that side cool. But uh, yeah. So let's see, I can't see nothing with these glasses, especially when I'm sweating. I'm proud of that. Alright. See, same way on this side, that's the bevel side. Whew! That's. Oh, man, she's dull. Alright, let's see what I can do. I'm gonna try this side first. Still the same. Might have turned a little. Folks, I'm um, gonna just do it with that right there. Like I said, I know it's not gonna be perfect. But, uh, what more can we ask for? I'm gonna kind of hurry for it. I like to mow a little bit this evening. Right, this side's kind of cool now. Kind of sharp to your fingers. Whew. That should cut some grass for a little bit. So, uh, yeah. What do y'all think about that? Get my water. Well, I need a. I wish I had a GoPro, uh, helmet cam or whatever they called. The top that you can just uh, here put on your hat or put it under right here. I know I'm just ugly in it. But for those that think I'm handsome, thank you. And for those that think I'm ugly, well, just go on with your bad self. <laughs> ah, okay, enough kidding around, folks. I don't care about my looks. All right. Don't mind, get me a drink of water. Because I forgot one simple step that I should have done before I even took that blade off. Which, as you can see by the ring right here, it means it goes back that way. Because you can reverse these and it won't cut at all. See, the sharp side's here, but you reverse it, the sharp side's there. So, it would be actually to the dull side if you flip it over. Which, this side wears out, you can always bevel this side and use it a little bit. But Alright, we're going to move our extra tools here to the side. 
Uh, probably need a hammer. Instead of this new five weight, I'm use this lead sixteen. It's a little bit longer, just in case. All right, I need a hammer there. And I forgot my boat. I'll be right back. Not much left of this whole brush here, but I don't need very much. Just kind of knock a little build up on this boat here. Alright, here we go. I don't know if y'all can see that from there or not. Try that right there. Uh, right here there's a, a pin here and a pin on that side really don't know the correct terms little studs I guess you can say too tight to turn with your hand too loose to turn with the wrench ain't that something get a little bit snugger here alright uh, where do my studs go there's one ah, there we go They stay in the groove. Oh, stay in the groove. Almost got you tightened up, baby. Sometimes it just helps talk to your equipment. Call it sweetheart and beautiful and sweetheart and beautiful is these are my two. My tools get sweetheart and and baby and my women get beautiful and amazing. Oh, hit a motor turn. Alright, this is where I'm going to have to, don't laugh at me folks, but anything to help protect your hand against that blade. Yeah, man, they got to go this way. I got my wrench set, I got a blade. Alright, right. get it snug. Snug in the rug. Take a hammer. Oh, not the camera. Alright, I think that's going to be tight enough. Still turns pretty good. And I do not claim that I'm a professional or anything, folks. And there goes my tools in the ground but I don't claim to be a professional I don't claim to be a handyman I just claim to be me and doing the best that I can with what I got uh, this comes with years of experience and I don't know what kind of experience you know what I mean just doing it on your own and watching folks now I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the ground and let it set for about 15-20 minutes. Take the oil, fill the gas. I'm going to fill the gas while it's setting. And uh, I want it to set for a while before I check it oil, at least 20 minutes. So, uh,
back. It spent about 15 minutes, so it should be about right. What this does is just gives the oil time to settle down, run back down where it's supposed to. I usually take a screwdriver, pretty tight. But I always watch. Sorry, folks, I thought I had my rag. But I like to wipe mine off, and I shouldn't have left it open like that. Wipe it off. I screw it down a couple of threads. And pull it back out. Oh, man, the radio scared me. And pull it out. And as you can see, hopefully, it's right there on the second line, so it's good and full. You just want to make sure you start it back and don't cross thread it and don't over tighten it whatever you do over tighten it you'll have problems later uh folks i'm gonna see if this baby will fire up which she should let me go ahead and do it while i'm on the camera make sure i'm still recording got a little uh, uh plunger right here a little bubble they say three times, but I usually do it about four or five. It's real slow. And I'm going to set y'all up for this. Because I know I can't pull the rope and do it too. I'm probably going to do it right there. Alright, hopefully y'all can see it right here. Right there. I always want to make sure the discharge is facing towards where there ain't no people when I first start it, just in case. Pull this back. chopped into our old one. The cats might have got it. Hope so. Well, it's done all right. It's done better than what it was. This tall stuff here, they usually have to run over twice anyway. Spaghetti grass, whatever it is. But I got to pick up the trash. It blowed around. So other than that, folks, probably done racked up enough time. And, uh, if I ain't, I'm sorry it's short, but I don't know if this camera's doing any good, so. Well, folks, I'm going to get off here, get my tools picked up, and go record another episode of uh, Farming Simulator before the kids come home. I'm going to try to do these maybe Tuesdays and Thursdays. Maybe. Not for sure yet. It all depends on how much I got. And look at that. A lot of folks call them ladybugs, but that's an Asian beetle. Asian beetle? I think I'm saying that right. Ladybugs are red. But anyway. Whoa. Radio. Radio. No fires yet. Thank goodness. No medicals. Even better. Folks, y'all have a great day. A blessed day. I'm going to stop this rambling. And I'll see y'all later.